intimidating assignment. Jesus realized this, and that's why he offers us the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit on board out of our hearts to do what God has asked you to do. You no longer bow down in intimidation, but you show up boldly with the truth and you don't apologize when people don't like it. We can't do this without being filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's why I can't I want to ask you to today. Do you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit? If so, all you have to do is ask in faith and you'll be filled right where you are. The crazy idea now back in back to the crazy idea you wrote on your paper the thing that God led you to do you never did because others don't didn't approve. I want you to look at those words you wrote and ask God right now if you still if you still supposed to do it. The Holy Spirit will give you clear yes or not now not right now. If you heard a yes in your spirit, the time to start is now. And you need to keep at it regardless of what others say regardless of how long it takes the results of your obedience is going to be incredible if you heard a no in your spirit cross it out and move on it can be a little tough to realize you missed an opportunity but god is a god of second chances you need to listen in the days to come for your next assignment Listen in the days to come for your next assignment as we discern truth from life. The Holy Spirit will guide us to truth and the enemy will guide us to lies. It's up to us to choose what we're going to do as we learned in this article. Amen. We must first judge ourselves in order before we judge someone else in the name of Jesus. Father God, thank you. Thank you for this moment in you, Father God. Father God, we can't do nothing without being filled with the Holy Spirit. For so, Holy Spirit, have your way, take your place. We can't look to the government to solve our moral issues, but look to God. Look to the hills from where our help comes from, Father God. Father God, thank you that you will make a way out of no way, Father God, for us as we continue to discern truth from lies. Father God, <clears throat> give us the ability as we bring forth truth with great boldness to expose and eliminate eliminate deception in the name of jesus father god we don't want to run from the issues but face the issues knowing that we know the truth and the truth can always set us free father god let us determine in our hearts to pursue god's will in our life and God's will in our own life, then we will have the responsibility to judge the things around us with righteous judgment. Let us get have righteous judgment, and righteous judgment only comes from you, Father God. Father God, thank you. Thank you that we can see the persecution, the offense, the deception, and the lawlessness that you have to face in your day. And Father God, we see that we are facing this here today, Father God. Father God, Matthew 24, 13 through 14, verse reminds us but he who endures to the end shall be saved and in this gospel the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness of all the nations and then the end will come father god let us remember the end will come and father god you're gonna come and take up your people in the name of jesus father god let us let us um let us plant seeds of righteous judgment within us in the name of Jesus. Father God, we know what the sin is. We can see the sin. We can smell the sin. We can hear the sin. So, Father God, let us continue to sprout the righteous judgment in us, Father God. Will we judge ourselves first before we even look to our brother, Father God? And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many.
and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Let our love not grow cold in you. Matthew 24, 10 through 12 reminds us, Father God, let our love not grow cold in you, but our fire continues to burn for you. Our fire 